What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. And if by chance you want to sign up to Studio12Tutorials and you want a bunch of Luna tutorials customized at your request, do that. Join the Discord. It doesn't really matter what DAW you use. If you're in my Discord and you're on the site, the site is 100% user driven content now also please don't forget to stop by cmpkits.com that is my own personal um content site for sample packs for midi packs for arrangement hacks um you know everything everything that i do um for for music production is there also please follow me on ig it's the quickest way to get a hold of me if you have a question at craftmaster3 and follow the spicy sundays podcast live every sunday afternoon on the mg the future youtube channel and uploaded weekly to spotify so follow us there now today i want to go into um luna and I want to show you guys the template. That's right, the template. Okay, when uh, Luna came out, I was very excited about it. It's a, uh, it's, it's the most. Um, you won't understand this until you use it, but it is the most significant technological breakthrough in the music production, music recording, computer-based music workspace in. I can't remember since when, like this is, this is a big deal. Um, so, but how do you use it? Uh, a CMP, how do you use it as a, as a composer? How do you use it as, as a sample creator? How do you use it as a hip hop producer? Um, this is, this is my template, right? So, uh, the way that, first of all, a caveat, the way that, the way that Luna works right now, when you go to, when you go to the setup page, um, the, the, there's no, the, there's no user templates, right? So the way that, the way that this has to work is I have this set up. It's, it's my top, um, project because i open it up every time i open up the doll i open up the template right and that'll take us here and then once you get into using the template this is just the habit that you got to get into this is the workaround um until they give us a dedicated template tab is you just go to duplicate and duplicate is your save as right so you duplicate the session and then here this this would be you creating your new song right so you open up the template and then you select save as you you give it you give it the name and then what you want to do is you want to go to open and then you have to go and open your new song right that way you don't write over your template because uh luna has taken the model from like microsoft excel in in auto saving you don't have to press any saves right it just it just automatically saves your progress so that's a thing but it is what it is now the way that i've got this set up this first track that that i have up top you really don't you really don't have to um unless uh, unless you're going to you know unless your intent is to stream you really don't have to worry about it it is the um i call it i call it my stream mic right so my stream mic is just it is just it's just um when you look at when you look at the input of it it's just mic line one going out to the main um and pretty much pretty much this one here I can just I can just hide it because uh because you know you guys don't need to see this right Boom. Now we're hiding tracks, which is, which is important. Um, the next thing, the, the next thing that we'll go down to is, is my sends. Um, the way that, the way that sends work in Luna, these are, these are all my effects channels. If you guys see my studio one stuff, you know, I'm like plate hall quarter echo, you know, the, all, all of my typical echoes, right? The reason, um, they, the reason why these show up in the arrange window is because is because they're buses, right? So this kind of works like logic, and and pro tools where you have to create your own aux tracks so what you got to do is you create you create some bus tracks name them color them and then and then put the effects that you want on the inserts when you put the effects that you want on your inserts just make sure that you're setting them up like sends make sure they're 100 percent wet 100 uh, percent output and what that'll allow you to do is when you click on a send you can then go here right and so and you see this buses drop down 
okay you then you then select which which bus you want to send this signal to and then and then boom it's just like uh it's just like something in logic or in you know all, all the different DAWs where you can adjust how much you send this will be pre and post fader um easy money super simple super simple once you get you know once you get used to that now uh, what i like to do when i when i start out the template is i will have is i'll have these hidden right because i don't need to see those i already got them set up that's the whole point of having the template um so those guys are hidden uh i have my i have my uh my routing buses my drum my drum bus my band bus and my filter bus uh ba basically all these are 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 buses where if you look down here to my outputs i'm sending all my drum sounds to a drum bus so i could apply um you know a different a different style of of neve summing and this is this is cool because this is something that i've been doing that i've been doing forever inside of the digital environment and now that now that something is graphically pleasing as Luna has come out, you guys can see why I actually do this, right? Because the the concept of it is to sum these different buses, and then they have they have different characteristics, and it sounds it sounds less uh you know clinical and surgical and clean, and and has more of um more of an analog style of vibe, right? Uh, be, due to the workflow. Um, so that's so that's so that's my drum bus, uh, my band bus. Basically, what that is is that's every instrument that is not a drum goes here and then my filter bus what this does is this takes these two buses and it sends them to what i call a filter bus because sometimes um you know uh with what we do with what we do in hip-hop you might want to put like a looperator on it. you might want to put a stutter edit on it you might want to have a, a a master filter that you know sweeps through the filter range to create different effects so this is this gives me this gives me a channel to affect uh, the entirety of of the beat of the signal um, and manipulate it like that. There's not always plugins on here. Sometimes there is. And also what this does is this gives us another stage to another opportunity to affect it with, you know, with the console if we want to do it. Another opportunity to, you know, put, you know, put a master tape preset on there if we wanted to do it. Um, another opportunity to add, um, you know, you know, different effects. Um, and then I have then I have my mix bus, which is which is where everything which is where everything sums to, right? So the you go from you go from these individual channels down into these two tracks, from these two tracks into this one track, and then this is where I put my mastering effects, right? So I've got the uh, ATR one hundred two with my favorite preset. I've got a I've got a G bus comp, and then I've got an L two, keeping it simple but never basic, uh, using the U lean master to be able to monitor, um, you know, the, uh, the perceived loudness of the overall track, right? Super, super, super helpful. Um, so what, what, uh, let's see here. What, what is new to this workflow is there's some things in Luna that we, that we don't have, right? Like for example, um, there's no, there's no bounce in place for VSTs. Now, some of you guys that, that depending on your computer power or, you know, what have you, you might want to run really big VST intensive sessions. You might want to take advantage of the, uh, of, of your, um, of your record effects that, uh, that your UAD system, uh, in, you know, provides to you. But if you, you know, if you have a whole bunch of VSTs with a whole bunch of different, um, UAD effects, you wind up, you wind up maxing out your DSP. So you're looking for a quick and easy way to print these things, right. To, uh, to be able to bounce them offline. I see a lot of talk on, um, on the different forums and feature requests. We need to offline bounce and, all of that type of functionality is built is built into Luna. But if you're not if you're not familiar with, um, you know, hardware based workflows, it it might be a little confusing. Right. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, for example, if we wanted to if we wanted to offline bounce, I can you know, I could take a uh, let's let's just do this. I could take a I could take and make a. Um, make a VST track, right? So here I've got here I've got a, a pad inside the Jupiter. So we'll go to we'll go to pencil mode. And we'll just draw us in a chord, right? 
Let's duplicate that. All right, now we have a chord progression. Now say, you know, on the different, you know, on my different inserts or whatever, like I, I wanted to put, oh, I don't know. Say I wanted to put another, another one of these, uh, another one of these tape effects, right? And I wanted to use, uh, so we wanted to use the lo-fi setting to get it you know, to get it some more, you know, put a noise floor on it, get it some grit. Now, if I, now if I stack these up and you know, it was, it was really, it was really banging on my DSP. I'd be like, all right, I want to print. So, but how do I do it? I can't press control B or whatever. Uh, everything is here for you. It's, it's remember, this is a, when you, when you work in this system, you got to remember, it's not a DAW. It is a recording system. So think about everything in terms of recording. How do I record this signal? Oh, it's easy. All you got to do is go to the instrument, uh, tab, and then you go to, you go to your channel. I, for, I forget what they're calling these. What are they calling these? This is your, this is your focus. Okay. So you go to, you, you go to your focus channel right and you scroll down to where it says output now this i'm sending this to my band output at the moment but what you have all of these different options the routing inside of this inside of this uh um situation is super powerful and super easy so if you go to um if, if you go here and you say i want to send this these outputs are physical outputs right line three four right but what's this? This is a virtual channel, right? And what a virtual channel is is it's just it is it's just it's just an imaginary channel that allows for routing inside of the digital space. So if I'm sending this to output to output one and two, right? Picture it like a cable. So all I need to do is I need to to is I need to find a track, right? Which I have set up already. This is I call it VST print, okay? And it's already set up to where if I go to my input, it's from input virtual one and two. So now if I, if I go to input monitoring, we can hear the noise floor from here. Okay. So I set this to record enable, go back to the beginning, press record. Okay. And now, now I can delete this. All right. I can go to this instrument track. I can remove, remove this. I get my, I get my DSP back. And now I have an audio print of my VST. Okay. So that is, so that is, that is why in my template. Okay. That's why in my template, I have, I have this channel right here, VST print and what it, and, and what the input that I have is virtual one and two. So anytime I want to print a VST, all I have to do is set the output of the VST track to virtual one and two, and then VST print will be able to record it, whatever I put on there. Right. Um, and so you might ask, well, what if I have, what if I have a whole bunch of instruments? I mean, it's fine, dude. You could just, you could just hold down alt to, to delete the, or I'm sorry, to duplicate this. And then you can have, you, you can have as many versions of, of, of it as you want. That's, um, that's just how I started off at the template. Now, um, I have, I have my, you know, like my physical inputs, mic line three and four, um, whenever I have my Moog hooked up to the patch bay, this is, this is a mono track that I can monitor and um and record my moog through my profit print these are all my um these are all of my stereo boards so like my rev 2 or my or my profit x or my virus um i'm able to you know i'm able to use those and record them as stereo here um mono effects print this is when you know this is when i'm i'm routing stuff 
uh, out of my, you know, out of my VSTs through through guitar pedals and then recording back in, I can, you know, I can I can re-record those sounds as the mono signals um, that they are um, in this one. Stereo effects print, same thing. So like if I'm so like if I'm playing, you know, like say I'm playing like an Arturia synth and I want to give it like a real vibe, I can. I can I could send it out to you know to the SP four hundred four and I or I could send it out to the Dreadbox Hypnosis and then uh, you know put it like a cool chorus and spring reverb on it record it back in and then boom I'm done I got it um, these down here these are you know these are the representations of the of the buses you're always gonna find those uh, and when I typically set up the session I'll show you what it actually looks like my session. My session looks like this, right? So this is so this is how I start, and I just I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys all of the different um all the different channels in here. And it's how easy it is to how easy it is to show them and hide them, right? Super simple. Um, if you guys have if you guys have any more questions, hit me up, leave a comment. Um, how's your experience with Luna? Are you enjoying it? Are you having fun? I mean, now that they now that they've added the uh, sync, um, you know, sending MIDI clock to external devices, this doll has, you know, quickly reached reached favorite status because now I can, you know, I can loop something inside Luna and then use my MPC in standalone mode so I can get that awesome sound out of the NPCs converters into a preamp onto <laughs> onto the DAW and it all happens um latency free in real time. There's nothing like it in the audio space at the moment. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Production Studio One Tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple but do not be basic and we will see you on the next one.